Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Prashan and welcome back to Tech Scenes Any. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to access any network share from any Android device. After the first video of me showing you guys how to uh, set up a network attached storage through your home router, a lot of the questions that were asked was, can I access this from my phone and how do I access this from my phone? So let's dive straight into it and grab your phone. So I have my Samsung A7 2018. If you'd like to see a review of that, links up there in the YouTube cards. Yeah. So let's jump over to the Play Store and what we're going to be looking for is Network Browser. So as you can see, there's quite a few apps here, these Samba clients and Network Scanner. But what I've found to work most efficiently is the Network Browser, this one right at the top. And I mean, I've used this for a while and this is the one that's worked best for me. Just gonna hit install and we'll go from there. So this is what's worked best for me. I'm not being paid or, you know, something slid underneath the table for me to say this, but this has been what's worked best for me and what I found most effective when accessing a network share through my phone, right? Okay, so now that our network browser app has been installed, I mean, that's the hardest part over. Let's open this thing. And now from here, we have to allow it to access the media on our device. Okay, and what it does, it actually scans um, the network. So my server is 10.0.0.6, but what I found is easiest, besides scanning the network, is to actually add a manual connection. So the network share that we've set up through our router, our network attached storage, and I highly suggest you do watch that video if you'd like to see how to set up something like that. Right, links going to be up there in YouTube cards as well as down in the description. So server name, from the time that we set up our network attack storage through our router, our IP address of the router has changed. I'm not gonna get into details with that, but our new IP address is 10.0.0.4. And um, if you have a server 2008 network share or a security share, then you'd fill in username, password, and all the other things. And even nickname, if you have multiple shares, you can name, nickname the multiple shares so you know which one you're connecting to. But mine doesn't have anything like that. I'm just gonna click save, and it's already connected. There we go. Here's everything that we need to do. Some, our movies. Takes a little while, I'm, I'm a bit far from the network. But you get the gist, All right? And that's it. All you do is connect and you can um, access whatever you have on your share. And one of the features of this app, you can actually upload files or e files or even folders or okay, let's say documents. Um, uploading one of my PDF banners to the network share. You can upload single files and even entire folders. Um, so yeah, you can see there's my 10.0.0.6 network share as well as my 10.0.0.4 network share. You can delete network, uh, you can delete shares and everything in between. I find this useful for 
when I'm uploading videos. So it doesn't mean me going, connecting a cable, copying the video to the phone to upload it, because obviously I find it quicker to upload via my phone. I don't need to do any of that. I just jump on the network share. I know where I have the video saved, download it from there, and from there, upload it straight to YouTube. No hassle, no fuss, no cables, nothing. Yeah, um, short video, but it kind of gets to the point and it answers the question that you guys have been asking. So if you have any questions on how to access a network share via your phone or even how to set up a network share, you can drop a comment down below. I'll be sure to try my best to help you. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did and getting subscribed if you aren't subscribed already. If you'd like to support the channel, you can head over to shop.techscenes.co.za, purchase a shirt, purchase a keyring. Today I'm wearing the Control Alt Delete PC Culture shirt. We have three other designs, drone culture, geek culture, and even gaming culture. You can head over to shop.techscenes.co.za. Guys, once again, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant, and I'll see you in the next video.